Welcome to Ari the Stag and the Ari the Stag team. We thought we'd be a bit different this week and do things slightly different than normal. And uh, But before we do that, be sure to hit the subscribe button and make sure you sign up for more Ari the Stag videos coming down the line very soon. And I just thought I'd start off by a quick review of the Triumph poster I unearthed the other day. And um, so evocative of its time, I think. And really, from our point of view, I think you know, there's just no question that the Triumph in all its different versions were an absolute success. Of course, mostly designed by Giovanni Michelotti, who was the Italian designer behind these wonderful uh, designs and uh, cars, and really, I think, become art forms in their own right very much, whether it's from the uh, Spitfire at the top of the picture there, the GT6, uh, the ranges of TR, there were a variety of TR models, as we know, through to our beloved Stag, the Mark I and Mark II Triumph Stags, built from 1970 to about 1977. And then, of course, there's a range of saloons from anything from the Triumph Dolomites to the 2000s saloons and the 2.5s and the 2.5 petrol injections. They were all a very successful car. Indeed, actually, coming up next weekend, uh, whilst many of you will be attending the NEC in Birmingham because we're going to go up and collect our 2.5S 2 2.5S from uh, up in Scotland. And so we'll be doing a, a really good uh, film of that and uh, putting that up on the channel for you to watch as well and as you know that will be joining the two other stags that we have UES 591S and UNY 49M which is the one that we're now building from scratch and uh, should be having it back with us very soon and I suppose like many classic car owners and classic car families we're no different we've all got the classic car bug as you know Harry's got the MG BGT and uh, he's restoring that uh, after a respray last summer down at Allen's and James Trumpet Pilot Bob has recently bought a Toyota Granvia which is a camper van project he is actively trying to get back onto the road it is mobile semi kind of a rolling restoration but uh, when it comes to uh, classics I think um, certainly we're all about putting tigers in our tank to quote the old phrase but when it comes to the Triumph Stag I think many of us have got an absolute soft spot really for the car it is such an iconic looking motor it really is and just on the channel this week actually there was some debate about what style people preferred whether uh, they uh, actually preferred the hard top because that gave it more kind of iconic looking lines um, whether they liked the soft top the fact that you had the convertible hood um, and that gave you a more kind of uh, uh, in the raw feel when driving the car you can hear lots of sounds from the outside or indeed no top at all with the roof down out enjoying the sunshine with the wind in your hair and uh, the bugs in your teeth kind of thing and I think um, actually the car looks great in every configuration and uh, each to their own in many ways I think there's lots of different uh, guises that this car has and that, that for me is a real attraction and um, such an exciting uh, car it really is and uh, has got lots of different styles uh, all under one kind of um, mark if you like and as many of you know from a recent trip to the southwestern vehicle auctions we saw a number of classic cars there including this lovely uh, mark one triumph stag and uh, yes needed a little bit of work but when you see the amount of money that actually went for in the end my sense is that these cars are absolutely well worth buying because they just can't buy such iconic uh, vehicle anywhere on the planet I don't think anymore and I know we will be back to southwestern vehicle auctions in due course but just look at the prices here the Herald there for 2700 the TR6 going for 10,500 a lot of car for the money the TR7 absolute bargain 26 and then there's the stag that we saw just there 5,000 pounds TR6 there another one uh, again nine and the 2000 and so it's just never been such a good time to invest in a triumph i don't think and in particular for me the stag but equally i think all of these cars are just a delight to see and we will be back to southwestern vehicle auctions for the end of april auction soon so let us know in the comments below whether you are a hard top person a soft top person or a no top person I'd be really interested in your views i love all three to be honest Okay, so be sure to watch out for the next videos where we'll be going to Scotland to get the new 2500S and uh, also review Harry's MGBGT progress and maybe a little bit about the Grand Via too. In the meantime, we've been Harry the Stag. Have a great week, everybody, and we'll see you online on Harry the Stag very soon. Cheers for now. Bye.